My face itches, oh my god. Hi guys, it's Bri, welcome back to my channel. I have a couple things I want to say before we get started in today's video. Thank you so much for all the love and support I've gotten on my Air Force video, well videos really. Right now the first one I did is over 4,000 views, which is like for my channel seriously insane so thank you guys so much for that i've had so much fun answering all your questions for anyone who's dm me on instagram follow me on instagram from that video thank you so much i've had so much fun talking to you guys and helping you guys through your process i still haven't gotten my ship date yet thank you covid but you know i'll keep you guys updated for whenever i do get my ship date so now that that's out of the way thank you guys so today i wanted to do like a q a video while i also tried this face mask it's the like aztec this is called the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. It's called like what world's most powerful facial. It says your face is gonna like pulsate and stuff and I'm like, that's kind of scary. But you know what, I wanna try it because I've been having some struggles with acne. Not the worst that I've ever had, but that's my cat Baloo. So today's video is going to be a q and A. I I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me a bunch of different questions, mainly because I have so many new subscribers here. So if you don't follow me on Instagram and you want to participate in another Q&A or follow me just on a different platform, uh, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. My username is at Brienne Rose underscore. And the link is in my description as well. Oh my gosh, this, there's so many questions. Uh, which Disney character would make the best president? This is a super hard question. And I really want to say like Colette from Ratatouille. Cause she works really hard and she's definitely a badass. Um, but who also has like really good leadership skills. I'm gonna start mixing um, my facial stuff. Um, I'm gonna grab some water, I'll be right back. All right, so I have my water. So I'm gonna start mixing my facial the powder in. I've never used this before, so let's see how it goes. Um, the next question was, what's the best advice that you've ever received? And honestly, I have no idea. I really don't have a clue. If I think about it, I'll get back to you on that, but I have no idea as of right now. Describe the qualities of a good boss. So I guess a good boss would be like someone who is just really transparent and is open and honest, is open and honest about their expectations for you as an employee, but also like has an open dialogue about like what you expect from them as a boss. Is always on time. It's just really nice. I have one boss that like takes his employees out to lunch sometimes. Like that's just so nice, especially cause like the team that we work with for that one specific thing is a very small team so it's doable but it's just really nice and it makes it like an enjoyable experience to work for him the next thing is your opinion on general hux being reduced to comic comedic relief in the rise of skywalker okay yeah he def yeah he was reduced to comedic relief um well i don't really like him uh, as like a character or as like a person he just really annoys me but I definitely saw like a character change in that movie. I don't know, there was just a character shift. He just like wasn't as serious in this movie and it was kind of weird. How do you feel about Chick-fil-A? Okay, so this is from my friend AD. Um, I used to eat a Chick-fil-A literally all the time. Even when I knew they gave to anti-LGBTQIA plus organizations and I was like, oh, that's like fine. And then for a while they said like, oh, we're not gonna do that anymore. And I was like, okay, cool, awesome. And then recently they did it again. Uh, they gave to another organization and that just doesn't align with my values and I just don't want to give my money to a company like that. Alright, next question comes from Tony. Um, he says Frozen 1 or Frozen 2? Now that is a very hard question because Frozen 1, I feel like the plot is really good and we see a lot of good character development in it. The music's really, really good too. But I think I prefer Frozen 2 because when it was in theaters I saw it three times. Yeah, that movie was seriously so good. And then Adam and I recently watched the making of Frozen 2 Into the Unknown on Disney+. Plus. It was so good. I really, really enjoyed watching it. I, I just spilled a bunch of powder on my hands. Best costume you have worn for Halloween. One year I was Perry the Platypus. And I'll try to find a picture of it, I guess. But like that was iconic. That was like my favorite costume that I ever wore because it was like so different. I think it was like in the eighth grade. And it was just so different from what all the other 8th graders were wearing. Okay, the next one is also from Tony. <laughs> he says, what was your dream job as a child? And when did you realize that wouldn't happen? <laughs> That's so funny. Um, I, when I was little, I think I like wanted to be on Broadway. Um, and I realized that wouldn't happen when I actually started doing like theater. Which sounds like super sad. 
and that's because it is. What puts a smile on your face? The fart putty in the day camp office. What was your first concert? One of my first concerts was the Hannah Montana, um, Miley Cyrus, Best of Both Worlds concert. I was seven years old and it was fantastic and I sat in the very last row, but I had the best time. The Jonas Brothers opened for them. It was the best. What's the, this is from Catherine, which happens to be Tony's wife. Um, it says, what's the dumbest thing someone has ever asked you? Girls, not even. Um, wow. Um, I'm struggling with this one, Catherine. I'm really struggling. What's the dumbest thing someone's asked me? I don't know, like, I feel like people ask me dumb things every day because of where I work. I guess, like, the dumbest thing someone's ever asked me is, like, do you want to go to Disneyland? You already know the answer. The answer is yes. What's your favorite part about your job? I think the favorite part about my job is, like, when, not even breaking for groups, but, like, when I'm working with a group and the kids are just, like, having a good time. That just makes me really happy because it means that we're doing our jobs right. What's your favorite thing about Adam? In case you don't know, Adam's my boyfriend. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, Adam's a feminist, all right? And he really, really like respects like women as a whole, not just like, oh yeah, I respect this woman because she has an attachment to a man. No, like she, he respects women, period, full stop. And that's my favorite thing about him. What color is your toothbrush? My toothbrush is teal and it is a quip. What is your beverage of choice? I guess like if it was like a soda, I'm like, I'm a Pepsi or Coke person, I guess, but I also really, really like lemonade. If you had to be an animal, what animal would you be? A cow. I really like cows. The next question is from Annie. Annie says, um, what's your best fun fact that you like to tell? My favorite fun fact to tell when I'm in the Disneyland park, in Disneyland on Main Street at Coke Corner, there's light bulbs that are like red, white, red, white, red, white, they alternate. But there's an even number or would it be an odd number? Either way, it works out where there's, in the corner, there's a light bulb where they could neither put a red nor a white, so they custom ordered a light bulb. The first one, they painted it, and they custom order it now, where half of it is red, half of it is white, so the colors still alternate. When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? For a period of time, it was a veterinarian. I used to want to be a model for a long time. Like, when I was a kid, I would be like, wow, I would love to be a model. But no thanks on that one anymore. For a while, it was a photographer. Always kind of like artsy jobs. I was never like, I would really love to be a receptionist. That's basically what I am, so. Hidden talent. I guess like trivia would be my hidden talent. Annie, you know this, you know this. I kind of, I'm kind of really good at trivia. Would you rather never be able to go? Would, oh my God. Would you rather never be able to go to a Disneyland park ever again or have to restart high school? See, high school's four years and like the Disneyland thing is never ever again. I could do high school again. I don't want, if, if it really came down, I yeah, I'd pick the high school one. Allison asked, when will the simulation end? Oh, it's just begun, Allison. It has just begun. The next one says, what is your favorite be beauty product at the moment? Ooh, I have it right here. Well, I've been on a huge, like the ordinary kick and I just really, really like their natural moisturizing factors. It's like a heavier cream, but it's not like heavy where it sinks into the skin nicely. It doesn't leave you like greasy and oily. What is your favorite workout at the moment? So with my trainer, I've been doing a lot of deadlifts and I just really like deadlifting because it makes me feel really, really strong. Currently I can do 155, but I could probably do more. But now the gyms are closed again. So stay tuned on my deadlift max. And this one, next one is from my friend Annalise's mom. It says, uh, are you more excited or nervous to go into the Air Force? I am a little bit of both. I'm excited to like go and like start my career and stuff, but I'm just really nervous about, um, I guess like, <laughs> be like blunt uh, the sexism I'm like really nervous to like face even more sexism because where I work right now there's sexism but it's like internalized sexism so it's not intentional or malicious and it's it's bearable but I just know that in the military it's gonna be worse so I'm, I'm nervous about that but I'm excited to start my career and excited to I don't know hopefully be part of the solution when it comes to that issue so we'll see and the next one says, can you introduce Carol? Guys, I got a new car. I don't think I've ever filmed in my car on this channel before. Yeah, I don't think I ever filmed in Patrice. Patrice was my Subaru that was a tan 2016 Crosstrek. Um, the color is actually called Desert Khaki. But now, I just got her yesterday. I have a 2020 Subaru Ascent that is white. 
and we named her Carol because I'm going into the Air Force and that's Captain Marvel's name. And it just fits because it's a very mom car and Carol's a mom name. Do your cats do any tricks? Yes, they do. One moment, please. Back up, Booga. Back up. So to answer your question, yes, my cats can do tricks. They're very cool. Their names are Baloo and Figaro. And I call Baloo Booga. I used to call them Boogaloo, but now there's a white supremacist group called the Boogaloo something. So we don't call them that anymore. Okay, I'm gonna put my hair up now and start on this mask. Um, it doesn't feel like it's burning or singing or anything, which I think is a good sign. Um, if this is the absolute wrong consistency, please let me know in the comments because I've never ever used this before. Um, I just was like, I've seen it on like, I've seen it on TikTok and some of my friends use it and they say it's really good and so, oh fuck, it's in my hair. I don't know if it's an issue. I know people also use this as a hair mask, so like, I'm not concerned that it's in my hair. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't really smell like anything. It feels like cooling on the skin. It doesn't feel like burning or tingling or anything like that yet. A lot of people say like it feels tingly and like your face pulses when it's drying, but we'll see about that. I didn't use apple cider vinegar because I really don't think I have any in the house right now. Also, this is not a facial spatula. This is literally a mini knife, but I'm being very careful. It's not sharp like at all. So I don't even know if it's like a real knife. I just like found it in my kitchen and I cleaned it and I'm using it because it's better than using my fingers, I think. I don't know, I wouldn't wanna put, I don't know if I wanna like put that on my fingers. I also made way too much because I put way too much water in it because it said like equal parts water, equal parts powder or clay, but I uh, am dumb. Let's get back to questions. The next question comes from Adam. It says, who's the best personal trainer in San Diego? Well, there's lots of personal trainers in San Diego. My favorite one happens to be Adam Baldwin. He's my current personal trainer and I'm going to link his Instagram down in the description. He's awesome, super encouraging. Um, he's a faith-based guy, he's awesome. Um, something you've learned about yourself during the pandemic. Hmm, that I really like Disneyland and I miss it a lot. Yeah, that's what I learned. I mean, I already knew that, but just confirmed it, I guess. Next question is, how did you learn how to play the guitar? When I was about, this is a, maybe 12 or 13, um, my dad started playing guitar. Oh no, wait, it was nine. My dad started playing the guitar when he retired from the military and then I started taking vocal lessons there at the same like music studio. And then I just went into his guitar lesson one day and really liked it. So I kept playing guitar and then I learned how to play bass and then I was in a band. Yeah, so that's how I know how to play guitar. <laughs> The next is also from Tony. <laughs> it says, favorite food in Disneyland slash DCA. And if you don't know what DCA is, it means Disney California Adventure. It's the park next to Disneyland in California. This is an incredibly hard question. I really like the pasta, like the sun-dried chicken and sun-dried pasta they have over by the, is it called like the family pavilion? Okay, the next one is from my friend Sammy. It says, how are you? Sammy, I'm breathing. I'm breathing and that's a blessing. I wanna go to the Air Force already. But I mean, it's okay. It's part of life. It's a process. The next thing is, <laughs> this is a question from Tony. It says, why the fuck does Keith get Juneteenth off? I don't know, Tony. You tell me, buddy. AD says, what would you do for a Klondike bar? I would go to a store and buy one, if I even wanted one. So, not much. I don't really like them that much. AD's next question says, how can I improve my TikTok dance skills? I don't know why you ask me this as if I'm the authority on TikTok dance skills. I, I, no, I don't know TikTok dances. I don't, on my TikTok, I don't have literally any videos of me dancing for a reason, because it's I'm bad at TikTok dances. I've tried. So I, I can't answer your question, but if I figure it out, I will let you know. Next we have, what is your favorite overly religious summer camp song? Okay. So when you say more a lot, it sounds like mower. So like the idea is to like push a mower. So it's like, I want more of Jesus, more and more and more. I want more of Jesus than I ever had before. Yeehaw! I want more of his great love so rich and full and free. Wait, I want more of Jesus so I'll give him more of me. And then it gets like faster and faster and faster. 
So it's like, I want more of Jesus, more and more and more. I want more of Jesus than I ever had before. Yeehaw! I want more of his great love, so rich and full and free. We, I want more of Jesus, so I'll give him more of me. And it's, you know, you get the idea, it keeps getting faster and faster. AD and I both went to a camp called Indian Hills here in San Diego at different times. Like, we never met there, but now we work together, so it's really cool. So, like, we know all the different songs and we have, like, some of the same counters. It's, it's really fun. <laughs> what is your favorite ride at Disneyland? Okay, so in Disneyland, I guess like Splash Mountain is my favorite. I'm actually really happy they're changing to Princess of the Frog. I think that'll be just a good change and keep it nice and fresh. But like the mechanic of the ride of where it's like dropping is super, super fun. I really like it. Adam doesn't let me ride it all the time because he's like, do you really want to be wet? Because he knows I will complain if my clothes and shoes and socks are wet. Or what are five bucket list items? I don't know. <laughs> I really want to go to Japan. I would like to raise another litter of kittens. I want to jump out of a plane. I want to get another tattoo. So that's what, four? You know, I think I want to go snorkeling. There, there's my five. <laughs> this one says, favorite Baby Yoda meme. One second. This, this is my favorite one. This says, when someone sends me a seven minute video and now I have to wait to seven minutes to tell them it's cool. That. That is relatable humor. I have another question from my friend Annie, and it says, in all caps, why can't people wear their fucking masks? I don't know. I think there's a lot of fucking whiner babies out there right now that are just being selfish assholes. Like, I don't understand, like, what breathing condition is there on the planet that makes it better for you to breathe in COVID-19? I don't know. And then there's some people that are saying, like, I have a traumatic experience with masks. Okay, well, wear a face shield thing then. Or something or just don't leave your house like if it's really that serious i don't know i feel like there's ways around it better ways than like carrying a piece of paper from your doctor that says i can't wear a mask mm. get a face shield they have the face shield things now come on guys get it together get a grip annie also says what are we doing for halloween annie i don't know if i'll be here in october but if we are you better know we're gonna have really good costumes this year. We have Ali saying, what kind of music do you listen to? I listen to a lot of different music. I actually don't use Spotify, so I can't just like link my Spotify. I actually like Pandora because it was, oh my God, it's so itchy. With Pandora, I don't have to like make a decision on what I'm gonna listen to. I can just kind of turn on a station and like kind of curate it by like thumbs up, thumbs down and have it figured out for me that way. I really like some musical theater and I really, really like Lizzo. Um, Lady Gaga, Ariana Grande, so I guess like pop stuff, and then I also like, you know, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. And Tony asked, um, how do you think your coworkers would describe you? And to, I ask him, to my face or behind my back? I think those would be two different answers, but I'm not sure. I would hope they would say funny and reliable. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's all I really care about. The next question is, are you looking to go back to the Miss California organization to compete for a title? Uh, the answer to that is no, not right now. Uh, I'm going to the Air Force, so I'm moving away. Um, but just, even if I wasn't, I don't think that I would. <clears throat> because with the Black Lives Matter movement, I've seen a lot of things that I don't approve of um, from the leadership at the Miss California organization whether that be from local directors, um, the state directors, or um, the field directors. I just don't, I can't support or be part of organizations anymore that don't outwardly hate racism, if that makes sense. Black Lives Matter, that's not a political statement, that's just a fact. I don't know why it's so hard for people to understand. So just seeing how they've responded to it and <clears throat> been more upset at like rioting and looting than people dying it's just, it's frustrating. And, um, you know, not to mention we've had candidates, our contestants um, in the past that are just, you know, like outwardly racist to other candidates and contestants and nothing's ever done about it. So um, over the years, I've just grown disappointed in the leadership. And it's also kind of a toxic environment, realistically. So no, I will not be returning. And I'm not trying to say that pe other people shouldn't return. You make that decision for yourself. For my decision, I will not be returning. All right, and those are all the questions for today. Thank you guys for hanging out. Um, and thank you guys for all the new subscribers, all the new likes, all the comments. Again, if you have any more questions about Air Force stuff or just anything in general, my Instagram's down below. You can shoot me a DM. Thank you guys so much for watching. I feel like this was kind of like sleepover vibes where you guys asked me questions and we did a face mask together. So, okay, hi. 
Just one more thing, I washed the mask off and my skin feels very, very soft. Uh, I think this was like, what, $10 at Target and there's literally so much inside of it. I recommend it already and I haven't even seen like an improvement in my actual skin quality. It just feels like really good. All right, sorry. All right, okay. Actually, bye now, bye. <laughs>